Ninjas in pajamas, they will have themselves Peter Panda and on the Ogre Magi. Ace will be playing the Phantom Lancer. Especially once you hit more levels on your PL. At bottom though, wow, okay. Level 2 was just achieved by Tims on the double edge. They have the Crystal Nova as well as the Hoof Stomp. Can Fada get out of this? Gonna you know, get Hoof Stomp? Can he Astro himself? He can! the very last moment, but they're gonna stick around to get this kill. The Fire Blast will be there, but there'll be a remnant forward. At the same time, at top, we do see Gabby get scouted in the trees. This is really bad. Oh no, gonna get called with the Berserker's Call. There it is. Mind Control finds them, and the spins will be there. They're gonna get the Culling Blade Chop. They will, will come after the Flame God has been used, but there's no assistance right now for Mind Control. Supernova does pop in the background of the fight. And they're still looking to bring down Mind Control, the remnant forward by Armel. Looking for the Searing Chains, Fata is here as well, here's the Spectre haunting in, the Searing Chains will not be there, there will be a call coming in, only onto Cuckoo however, Fata will get the Banish out, looking onto Gabby, is he able to get the ultimate, he's able to get down the Spectre immediately, by dropping the hammer onto her face, and Armel comes back into the fray, left the remnant behind, TP home to get mana, comes back to bring down Fata, but the 2 for 1 exchange thus far. Looking towards Mind Control, chasing him, Armel has the Flame Guard, the call from Mind Control will be there, can he get off the Culling Blade? He does get it off onto Cuckoo, and the Weaver gets brought down, and smoked up onto their side of the map. And Tims might just be the one to take this bait, he gets called up right now, Ace is right next to him, and they're gonna get the Culling Blade out. Mind Control is level 12, so that's a level 2 Culling Blade right there. Ace, now in trouble, Freezing Field made use of by Ninja Boogie, they can't get the jump in onto Ace, Ace is gonna die underneath this. Mind Control. Didn't have the mana to blink onto that, spotting out the heroes that are present here. PPD is invis. They might look towards fire blasting Armel. Get him, get him, get him. PPD, fire blast him. Okay, double fire blast. They're going to be able to open up with the call onto the axe as well. The spins, will they be there in time to get this kill going? Armel, unable to escape, gets cutting bladed. Does end up dying. The supernova does get triggered now by the Phoenix because he was about to die towards Ninja Boogie's damage. Sims has blink dagger, hook stomps onto mind control, but mind control. For staffing forward, immediately imprison someone, set them up quite nicely for either a follow up call, which is might come out to Armel, middle of their call, and he's gonna die here. They're gonna get the kill onto the Ember Spirit. Culling Blade will be there to take away his life. This is the likeliest place for NIP to head next. Oh no, they found Gabby, Gabby! Not like this. Other side of the fight though, BKB used by Fata. Looking to try and bring down Tim. Tim is gonna die. And Cuckoo will at least be able to get off the time lapse. Aegis of the Immortal will be popped. Ace is still gonna be alive. Second life will be there. And they're gonna find Ninja Boogie in the trees. Fata will decide to buy a sheep stick. Oh, Tim jumps him. They're actually gonna try and get this kill onto Fata. And they will succeed in doing so. They commit everything for that one. The farm even on Cuckoo here. Cuckoo has had a really rough game. Ninja Boogie, gonna get called back, gonna end up losing his life. Crystal Maiden, no chance of survival at this one. They scout out Fata. And there's gonna be smoke on smoke. There we go, all these heroes are called. We're not gonna connect it to anybody. OD jumping in, BKB gonna be activated. Stampede comes out now as well, Cuckoo. Time lapsing back into the middle of the fight. Gets hexed up right now, in fact, by OD. And gonna end up losing his life. Mind control with the cutting blade. Getting at least one kill so far, Armel. Remnants back up to the high ground towards the shrine. Oh, Tim's gonna take the space created by the shenanigans of Armel in order to secure themselves a bounty rune. Armel might die here. Ace is chasing him. Armel doesn't have any more remnants. He's gonna die. Hex is gonna be there from Fata. Oh my goodness, that was not worth it at the end of the day. Now call in the mid lane directly onto Ninja Boogie. Ninja Boogie as well is gonna die. Mind control with the chop. Now Mind Control also picks up a Heart of Taras because also has 4k HP. Do see Searing Chains from Armel. Mind Control goes in, call on to Cuckoo Cuckoo. Kept in position for now, there's going to be the Banishment coming out. Tim's with the stun going out onto Mind Control. They get the Hex out onto Cuckoo. Will they be able to at least bring down one? They Hex out one. Oh no, the drop of the Hammer by Fata. Secure the double kill almost immediately. Armel and Tim's have gone down. And now we see the call coming in from Mind Control, catching Cuckoo as he's trying to get away with the Sakuji. They're sieging onto this tier 3 tower. It'll go down. They're looking for these mega creeps. They're putting this damage out. Can they stop this? Armel, Cuckoo. Is their last chance? No, Cuckoo's gonna get hexed. Cuckoo's gonna die. 
There's no buyback for the Weaver. Gabby will it be in trouble. Tim's gets in with the hoof stomp, but unfortunately, he's just going to get brought down by Fanta. Double kill already for the OD. Horns will be there from Gabby. Gabby going to jump in, trying to bring on those Phoenix, but the Phoenix will just pop the Supernova. Staying alive. Gabby trying to jump in and out of the fight, but the ultimate will pop. It's not going to pop onto Gabby, but the rest of the team will be there almost immediately afterwards, and Ace will get another kill as TNC will call GG. 39k behind, and the Ninjas in pajamas absolutely eviscerate TNC. Murano will be played by Armel. Gabby's actually going to be the awkward player for the team today. But the Spectral Dagger slowing him down. Now he's going to get turned upon right now. Wild Axe is flying out. Cuckoo, they almost have the first blood onto him. Can they get the kill? PPD. Nature's Prophet will be able to draw the first blood. And they're going to try and perhaps get this kill onto Gabby. He's going to get surrounded. These supports around him. Saxa has dropped down the swarm and the Reaper Scythe will be there from Fata. And they put the Electric one in the grave for quite some time. It's also kind of far out in the lane. He's gonna TP bottom. Cuckoo now. The Stampede does lay out to try and give them the ability to kill the Beastmaster. Reaper side from Fata does make this happen. And they're continuing to try and bring down Tims. He's being chased right now. Fata has Death Pulse in just a minute. Here comes PPD with the Sprout. They get it out. They can't get the last attack. And Tims, the Sprout actually saved his life. But Gabby is not gonna be so lucky. PPD will die thanks to Gabby's Tempest doubles. But they lose Gabby in the process. We lose to VP. It is what it is, one of the best teams on the planet. What is? Uh, bottom, Fata's gonna die here. Go Shroud, nope, never mind. Go Shroud won. He's gonna be able to throw out the Sprout. There is going to be a Primal Roar onto him as well as an arrow catching him out. The Wild Axes will immediately destroy the Sprout Trees. PPD is already in the vicinity. Here comes Saxa. Looking to throw out the Swarm onto Cuckoo. Cuckoo is gonna die from this Reaper Scythe. We'll connect onto him. I appreciate it. Mid lane, Fata. They need to get this kill. Primal Roll will fly out. There is a Ghost Shroud available, but the arrow will connect through it as well as the Star Form. And they do get the kill. Goes onto Armel of all heroes. Saxa's running forward. They've got a bug out onto Armel. Armel will be able to destroy it. Saxa really wants to get this kill onto Armel. They see him through the Sentry Ward, but can they get the kill onto him before he's able to bring down the Rana? No, they cannot. Saxa is able to escape thanks to a time lapse, but Rod right back into a Spark Wraith. And these Spark Wraiths are going to definitely kill him. Sox are trying to run into the base. Will at least just suicide. Una Shadow was used. And mind control. Our oh, arrow flies past them. So the TPs and all the important heroes will happen. Oh, PPD will now also TP after. Okay, no, they'll still toss him. The avalanche will be down, but the toss will not. Gabby will TP bottom. Uh, is this a Tempest double, right? Yeah, it is. They're being ran around ragged right now. There's going to be a stampede being used with you saw the primal roll will be onto the center. Armel jumps in with the arrow as well, but the reaper side will come in from Fanta directly onto the Marana. Ace will finally haunt in to the fight after committing the full ultimate. There's going to be the whole stomp as well, catching on to our good friend Cuckoo. The Beastmaster will die. Manta, Mask of Madness. Oh, Cuckoo, primal roll, they fly out onto Fanta. They want to try and get this kill. The arrow will land out onto mind control and the stampede will be there as well. But because all the damage is being juggled, they don't have one consistent target and they'll end up losing Cuckoo. And Ninja Boogie might be the next one to fall as well. He's going to die to a couple of more right clicks. And he does end up losing his life. Simultaneously, they do get the kill onto Tim's on the backside of the fight. Armel will not die. No, they're actually gonna try and kill him. They use him up into the air. Mind control gets on him. They got the Reaper Scythe as well. 100 seconds in the grave. That's why Alf Warden sucks to play against him. So Tims throws out the Winter's Curse. But this time there's nobody nearby. And Tims will just die towards the double edge of Mind Control. Mind Control will have the blink in one second. Can he get on top Cuckoo? He does. Can they get the Dust of Appearance? Yes, they do. They're gonna find the kill onto the Beastmaster as well. Beastmaster will die. Buybacks have come in from the Winter Weapon as well as the Gabby Alf Warden. Buyback from Cuckoo as well. Everybody's coming back into the fray. Cuckoo Cool, primal roll, they find it onto Fata. But the ally time lapse will be there. Fata in a great position. Mind control finds a three man hook stop on the back side of the fight. They're just trying to create as much space as possible. Magnetic field being used up by Gabby right now, but the Tempest double inside. But that's the real him. Avalanche on the two heroes from Ninja Boogie. But the double edge will be there from Gabby. Gabby manages to get the kill onto Spectre as well as Fata. The Radiant Scan is going to trigger on some heroes. So they know that something might be happening. Hope Stomp will not connect, but then here's going to be Ninja Boogie jumping onto it. They're going to get Armel with the Reaper side, but it's going to be able to pop BKB, but the damage is still way too damn high. Tim's will die towards the Radiance Burn, and Ace going to chase down Cuckoo as well. Cuckoo will die as well. And Fata, with the help of Ace, they eliminate four heroes almost immediately. That was one hold, one stampede, and everyone was dead. Ninja Boogie will buy back into this one. The game may just end right here and right now. Deja Vu of game one. Oh no, the Yule Scepter out onto Gabby. They can't afford to lose this awkward in the second time around. He does throw the silence out onto Mind Control. 
now. The jump onto our no. Armal is dead. Yosef the now tossing up uh, the Beastmaster into the air. They're running forward. Winter's Curse will be there onto Ace, but Ace is still going to get out of this fight. Cuckoo with the Primal Roll onto the Centaur is not going to help him, though. Ace is still going to get a double kill off of this, and they will leap away. At the same time, Ace is already at bottom, already attacking the Rex. Thanks to this Glimmer Cape coming in from Tim's. But Tim's might not be happy about this. He has a Spirit Vessel on him, or just the Urner Shadows. He's going to get ran down by PPD. Ace as well will be able to get a kill. And they just call GG after bringing down Gabby. Game number two will end.